Lesson 4, Fight the Good Fight. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne. Revelation 3, verse 21. Soldiers are my heroes, those who fight for freedom and ensure domestic tranquility. Some are newly enlisted on their way to boot camp. A few are enrolled in officer, officer training and other provide technical support or manage administrative details. Then there are the fighters on the battlefront, daily putting their lives on the line. Some live and some die, but all sacrifice. War is ugly, messy and hellish in its fierce engagements, but battles can be won with unity and God's favour. John describes the scene in heaven where the final battle has been fought. Weapons cease to exist. Weary bodies are in repose. Minds are not churning with activity and emotions are at ease. Because Jesus fought the good fight while he lived on earth, he now reigns with his Father in heaven. Christ overcame the devil's temptation so that we might overcome as well. He conquered evil with good so that we can conquer too. He endured suffering that we might endure with him. Jesus lived, died and came to life so we can live, die and come to life. Fight the good fight for the faith. 1 Timothy 6 verse 12 Do you have a relationship with Battlefront to re-engage? You may need to fight for your marriage, a child, a parent or a friend. Relations, not Relational passivity is not an option because love initiates. Learn to fight fair for the one you love, but fight. Quiet resentment is bad or worse than scre screeching demands. Do not shock others like an emotional stealth bomber or blow them away with verbal machine gun. Instead, fight for their affection by serving and loving them in ways that make them feel valued. You fight a good fight when you assure the best and forgive. How do you know if you are engaged in fighting the good fight with God? Prayer is the weapon your enemy fears the most. Prayer can, be, can go places you may be unable to go. School, political arenas, business trips, mission fields, hospitals, re retirement homes and hearts. Prayer aligns your heart with the Lord's heart of love and humility. Love gives strength from above and humility gives unlimited access to his grace. Fight with God's weapons, not with the world's. The defeated arsenal with Jesus you reign. The Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. Exodus 14 verse 14.